This is a gift. So it is going to be the dragon off. Is that what happened? You think dragon oh. off? This that is was a gift. gift for you. That this was is a, a gift, gift specifically for you, Jeff. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna see bringing it out. This is definitely some old school JDCR right here. Definitely when I first started getting into the Tekken scene with Tekken 7, I was like, bruh, I seen this dude put a lot of bodies in bags with this <laughs> character. And we're gonna see it here as well. Going up against the Akuma. Could have the solid anti-airs that we were talking about, right? We'll see what the uh, the game plan is as we get going. Oh my goodness. The answer to that trade was jump over. We love to see it. Yeah, pretty quick movement from Dragon Off in terms of the sidestep, sidewalk, and be able to avoid those fireballs. Okay, gets the pickup. Damn, wow, Super Akuma. Gutsy with the down fours as always. And yeah, so JDCR has this lead at this point. Yep, content with staying nice and solid. We know all about those down twos. Ooh. But man, with a big demon flip. And JDCR nodding in approval here. He knew that was an option he had to deal with. And Super Akuma gonna kill him Ooh. for his son. Yo, where did his life go? It is gone. Yo, that 1,000. Put on missing persons ad for the life bar, please, because it's gone. It is Yo. gone. It was looking so close the entire round until that moment. Oh man, Super Akuma, another one that don't use the headphones, baby. We feel the electricity. Oh yes. And, oh, he tried for the whip punish Here right there. He was it. just a few frames off. You heard him, but hit that button yes. with authority, son. Ooh. Hit that button with his hearts right there. Yeah, JD looking clean. Both players very locked in here. Trying for the delay, try to maybe throw off his anti air timing. Yeah. She had a lot of respect shown to JD. He was trying to sidestep, still got clipped by it. Yeah, honestly, a rare sight. Yeah, I'm again harassing at this point, but this is oh, mm. I like that from JD this time. Yes, I mean, that is the answer to those jump ins, right? You got to try to catch him out of the air, get the float. Wow, what a down four from Super Akuma. Which is a big block. Gets side punish on the fireball, but not enough to kill. Five seconds left. Still blocking it out. Still blocking oh it out. Oh my god. Oh, what, what? Super Akuma? Red out the time. The closest pixel right there. Super Akuma has the beat me. on deck. I. I don't need, I, I, okay. So into this next round. Yes, hold we'll, on. We'll talk about Gotta that later. Recompose ourselves here because that was close. Super Kuma one round away to take this first game. And now JD, I mean, JD, if you're JDCR at this point, you gotta feel robbed of two rounds, right? It was the big demon flip <laughs> yep. in the first round. The second one, oh, oh. the anti air jab. Hit him in the cheeks. Okay. Oh, big there punish on the down four. A little early on that jab, didn't quite catch the jump, and now Super Akuma trying to assert some dominance, but he has to back up now at this point. He's got to wait for some meter, got 10 seconds left on the clock, and JDCR is in reach. There, he's zoning out the blue stuff, it did not work, and Super Akuma's so really smart. trying to play this out. So smart! Three rounds to none in this first game. With the timer winding down like that, to do the jump back fireball, buying the time and then keeping the advantage afterwards, hitting them with a, one of the three buttons. Wow. I think we can all agree that that was Joe's fault. <laughs> oh man, looked at me dead in the eyes. I feel like that was my fault. 100%, but you know what? He wanted to make you happy, and that that's worth something. Right? That's its own W, okay? That's the thing about JD, man. He's always had some showmanship, you know what I'm saying? He's always played to the crowd. He knows that the entertainment aspect of it is part of it as well. And if you can get the crowd on your side, that's big. That's big, 100%. That's a, that's a boost in general. And that's probably why we're seeing so much momentum out of Super Akuma, because every time we see these close rounds and see these big combos and see Life Force get depleted, this room erupts. And that momentum is so golden right now. We're going into game number two. And now Armor King is out. Indeed, we'll see how it goes with the main, the Rudo. Heal boys all day. Mm, great ducks right here underneath. The city. Jumping in still, though. Super Kuma looking confident, kind of dashing into his face, pushing him to the corner, not showing any fear, and gets the punish on the hop. Yeah, clean stuff right there. JED looking to low crush something perhaps, but he couldn't find it. Just thought Super Kuma would be ducking. Clean punish here. 
Could have him at the wall, but Super Akuma doing his best to not get pushed all the way there. Who tried to beat him in for the focus attack? I like that idea. See a lot of respect being shown, though. The fireball starting to come out again. Super Akuma really shot away from that strat for a minute. Mm -hmm. Despite it kind of working out the few times that he did throw it up. But again, respecting the rage, finding the spacing, getting the little, little toe kick in there, you know, just, just a little kick to seal it out. We're going to the next round here. And wow, Super Akuma is looking comfortable right now. The block on the low as well, and we've got meter to spend. And he's looking real comfortable with these combos and setups, too. We saw him drop an FADC or two in that first game, but he's got to adjust, man. Man's been playing two years all online, you feel me? <laughs> So he's looking very crisp, very clean now. I'm loving the empty jump-ins too. Not all the time does he have to go for a true jump-in, going for the empty jump-ins. And there we go, keeping it, you know, mixing it up a little bit. Can't be predictable. You gotta stay, stay loose. Yeah, so JDC already needs to find some type of there we go. defensive choices that are gonna start working out, and that's one. Super Akuma hasn't been getting as much mileage off of buttons into the Demon Flip as, you know, compared to just doing it raw. Yeah, JDC are definitely good at stopping the cancel into the Demon Flip. Like, you can rarely do that for free on them. You gotta set it up raw. Yeah, Akuma here, we know he's more than capable of bringing it back, especially with that one meter to his name. And JD, in these situations, Ooh. I feel like he's been a little timid. Has gotten caught off guard trying to seal rounds in compact ways. Right now, he's looking good. Oh, and the interrupts. Go. Good float and conversion. JDCR putting a round on the board here. But Super Akuma still one game, one round away from taking the set. Oh, to sweep the down oh. force. Another one, oh. another one. Count them up, and JD still not ducking, though. Exactly. It didn't, he didn't fall for it at all. Oh, Super Ouch. Akuma at the wall. Instead of here trying to get his back, not gonna give it to him. Super Akuma in a great position right now. Really doesn't have to do anything. All he has to do is react. Yeah, exactly. You can see even old not actually Ooh. doing a damn thing. You don't have to do anything when you've got a 